Let's first get out of this stuck position that we're in. We were kind of just circling around this player and be able to fly around and make our camp pass. So you're gonna type in Merv input camera. Now we can fly around. Before we even start making a camp path, let's enable the draw option, okay? So this will draw the camp path as we're creating it. So you'll be able to get a visual of what's going on, of what you're creating and what the camp path looks like. So let's do Merv camp path draw enabled one. So every time we make a camp path anchor point, we're gonna be able to see it. First anchor point, it's gonna be Merv camp path add. Super simple command. Enter. And because we have Merv Camp Path Draw Enabled 1 on, we can see it. So the important thing is you have to let a little time go. So we're going to unpause the demo. And now I have Demo Toggle Pause bound to my F9 key. So whenever you see the demo play and pause, that's because I'm hitting F9 and Demo Toggle Pause is being activated. We're going to hit F9, let the demo play a little bit. Now we're going to move forward. We're going to type in Merv Camp Path Add again. Good. We have our second one. We're gonna let a little time play, pause it. Just press up to get to Merv Camp Path Add, the up arrow key, hit enter, good. We're gonna unpause it, let a little time play, move forward, up arrow key, Merv Camp Path Add. We put in four anchor points, and that's really important because in order for a camp path to be able to function and to be able to play property, you need at least four anchor points. Now that we have it created, we have to be able to play it, right? We have to be able to enable it. So let's do Merv, Cam path enable one. By default, Merv Cam paths are not enabled. You have to actually manually enable them. Now let's watch it. In order to watch it, we have to go back to the beginning because right now we're at the end of our Cam path. So in order to figure out what tick the beginning of the Cam path's at, we type in Merv Cam path print. And now this is going to be a little overwhelming at first because a lot of these numbers are going to show up. And I'm going to go through all of the numbers for you to tell you what each one means. This first number here, this is actually the number of the anchor point. So whenever you want to select or edit or identify an anchor point, you're actually going to look at this number here, 0, 1, 2, 3. This next number is going to be your tick. That's actually what tick the camp path anchor point starts at. This next number is just the time in the demo that it starts at. This next one is game time. This is not a very necessary number to know. It's not very helpful uh, in the grand scheme of making a camp path. These next ones are kind of important. What these numbers represent are the position in the map, the fob or the zoom, and then the angle at which you're viewing at. Let's tell you how to skip back to the beginning of the demo so we can view our camp path. Very easy command, it's gonna be demo underscore go to tick. Now what you wanna do is you wanna to go to this very first tick here, 33450, and just type that in. The demo just rewound. Now here's the important part. You notice how we're still not in the cam path, we're still floating around? That's because we're still in Merv input camera. Now in order to get out, all you do is hit escape. Now we're in camp path mode, okay? Now we're ready to view our camp path. Now, what I like to do is I like to slow the camp path down a little bit while I view it. So we're going to go to the console. We're going to type in demo UI, and we're going to click one fourth speed. Now let's play it. Okay, cool. It's playing. Awesome. All right. But we don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, cool. All of these basic commands will help you achieve more advanced effects and transitions as you play and you tinker with them. I'm sure with this tutorial, we'll see some great things out of you in no time.